on the fourth month, meron kang 50 shares. Mm-hmm. So on the fifth month, ilan lahat ng shares mo? 270. 270, yeah. Meron kaming body <laughs> yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, and so, for today, what are we going to So today, we will be talking about peso cost averaging or how to invest in the stock market using this type of strategy. Uh, actually, uh, actually, it's not just in the stock market. It can be used in some mutual fund, so UITF. But um, for this type of episode, it's a geared for stock market. Our uh, example uh, is stock, stock market. market. Uh, Ang concept ng cost averaging, uh-huh. uh, matagal na siyang ano eh, strategy mm-hmm. and a lot of uh, financial advocates actually encourage people to do cost averaging because it's a passive way to invest in the stock market na hindi yep. ka lang basta bili lang bili, uh-huh. at least meron kang discount. Eh, no? uh-huh. So first we discuss how do you do cost averaging. Okay? Uh-huh. So ang cost averaging basically it all starts with Magkano ba yung amount na kaya mong i-invest regularly? Yes. So, yung amount na yun, this is a fixed amount. Uh-oh. Okay? So, for example, meron kang extra 6,000 pesos every month. So, yun yung ano mo, doon ka magsisimula. Make sure na yung amount na yun ay you can afford to do it for many years, no? I would say, yes. no? Uh, so, kung 6,000, at least 5 years, kaya mo mag-invest sa 6,000 every uh, month, no? Um, and then, the second component is yung time frequency. Yes. So, uh-huh. kadalasan siya sabi natin every month, but if... Um, kaya naman every week then why not <laughs> ako, ako sa akin kung masyadong mabigat yung every month every week, uh-huh. pwedeng uh, every two months or yeah, every day, three months uh-huh. every quarter uh, in fact ako nung nagsimula ako I was investing 5,000 every three months so hmm. quarterly 5,000 uh-huh. quarterly nung una akong bumili uh-huh. ng Jollibee shares okay uh-huh. 5,000 every quarter lang yung ginagawa ko uh-huh. and I did that for around okay. three or four years and then I realized that I could afford more. Mm-hmm. So I started buying Jollibee shares na 5,000 every two months. Okay. And then, so, uh, ngayon, every month, uh, bumibili uh, na ako ng uh, mga ibang shares, ibang stocks naman. But that's basically the concept of peso cost. Uh, uh, cost averaging. Uh, uh, you start with the fixed amount, uh, and then you decide on the frequency. Yes. Uh, and then, gagawin mo lang siya uh, for many years. Yes. So, uh, for example, 6,000 pesos per month. Uh, so, kung ano man yung bibilin mo na, na stock, uh, uh, bibilin mo kung magkano yung kayang bilhin nung set amount mo. Uh, so, for example, 6,000 pesos every month uh, of Jollibee. For example, alam, uh, no? So, this month, bibili ka ng 6,000 pesos worth of shares ng Jollibee. Uh, Next month, 6,000 ulit. Next month, 6,000. So, Forever, hindi ba forever? Uh, <laughs> For many years, years. No? up to you reach your financial goal. Mo, or yes, uh, so hanggang yung value ng portfolio mo, ma reach yung financial goal mo. So uh, dumo malalaman kung saan kailan mo siya ibibenta. Okay, so just to give you an illustration kung bakit maganda yung cost average. Uh, no? So let's say mayroon tayong stock, no? Uh, uh, yung stock is 100 pesos per share. Yes. Yung company. Uh, no? uh, There's a company. Let's say company A. Oh, company A. So, kung 100 pesos uh, per share, tapos meron akong 6,000 pesos, That's so bibili me. ako. Uh, so, ilang shares ang magbibili ko? Uh, 60 shares. 60 shares. Uh, okay. So, syempre, ang ang price ng stocks, nag-up and down no, yan. No? Uh, so, sabihin na natin, uh, on the second month, month number two, uh, bumaba to 60 pesos per share. So, from 100 pesos, naging 60 pesos per share. So, bibili ka pa rin ng 6,000 pesos worth of uh, that company. no So, sa, at 60 pesos per share, mag, ilang shares yung mabibili mo? Mga 100. Na. 100 shares, Uh-oh. diba? Okay. So, pagdating na month number 3, uh, umakyat ulit to 100 pesos. Uh-oh. So, sa 60,000, uh, sa 6,000 pesos, Uh-oh. ilang shares na mabibili mo? 60 ulit. 60 Uh-oh. ulit, no? Uh-oh. So, 
Guys, so month number 1 nag 100 pesos siya. Month number 2 nag 60 pesos bumaba. Tapos tumaas ulit. <laughs> month number 3 nag 100 pesos. Tapos month number 4 nag 120 pesos siya. Tumaas ulit. Oo. So sa 6,000 pesos ilang shares yung mabibili mo? 50 na lang. 50. So uh, 120 pesos per share, makakabili ka ng 50 shares. No? Yes. Tapos sabihin na natin, month number 5, uh, mm -hmm. nag-decide ka na ibenta, ibenta na. na. Uh. So, pagdating ng month number 5, bumaba ulit siya ng 100 pesos. No? Uh -huh. So, month number 1, 100 pesos. Tapos naging 60 pesos, naging 100 pesos, naging 120, uh -huh. tapos bumaba ng 100. Mm -hmm. So, Kung ipototal natin yung shares natin, so month number 1, bumili ka ng 60 shares, uh -huh. tapos uh, 100 shares sa second month. On the third month, meron kang 60 shares. Mm -hmm. On the fourth month, meron kang 50 shares. Mm -hmm. So on the fifth month, ilan lahat yung shares mo? 270. 270, uh -huh. yeah. Meron kami kodigo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So meron kang 270. Uh -huh. Tapos uh -huh. on the fifth month, 100 pesos yung price to share. Uh, so, kung ibibenta mo yung 270 shares na yun, magkano lahat yung makukuha mo? Well, kailangan mo i-times yung number of shares uh, times yung market price. So, 270 times 100. So, mga 27,000. 27,000. Magkano lahat yung in-invest mo? Of course, 24K. Oh, kasi 6,000. Tapos 4 uh, months mo ginawa. So, 24,000. Tapos, 27. nakakuha ng 27,000. So, yung ipon mo, ang naging profit mo, 3,000. So guys, imagine niyo kung meron akong 24,000 tapos nung month number 1, binili ko lahat ng shares mm -hmm. at 100 pesos. Uh -oh. Tapos pagdating on the 5th month, 100 pesos pa rin yung price niya. Uh -oh. Wala. Wala akong revenue. Hindi ko siya uh -oh. mabibenta at 100 pesos. Uh -oh. So yun yung uh, yun yung beauty ng peso ko sa atin. Yes. Uh -oh. Kasi pag mawawa yung price, mas marami kang shares na Binibili. nabibili. Uh -oh. Such that, pag kumakit yung price, may profit ka na bigla uh -oh. no kasi yung average cost ng per share na nabibili mo uh -oh. bumababa siya yes. no or na nagihit siya ng median yeah. na below the average uh -oh. uh, so it uh, ensures na konting taas ng price may profit ka may na. profit ka na uh -oh. so yun yung maganda kasi a lot of people, what they try to do is they time the market no uh -oh. so kung nagta time tayo ng market ang mangyayari dito sa ginawa natin, hihintayin nilang bumaba doon sila bibili. So, uh -oh. nung nag 60 pesos, doon sila bumili ng marami. Tapos, nung kumakit yung price, doon sila bibili ng, ay, doon nila ibibenta. Uh -oh. So, if you have the time and the skill to know kung kailan bababa at kailan aakyat, uh -oh. then, uh, you can time the market. Uh -oh. But for most people na busy sa work, uh -oh. di ba, maraming ginagawa, yung cost averaging offers a strategy na passive. Mm -hmm. Hindi mo yes. masyadong kailangan tingnan yung mga charts, hindi mo kailangan uh, tingnan masyado yung mga in, fundamentals, uh, ganyan, no? In short, wala na masyadong headache para sa inyo to analyze. Oh. So, it's a passive way. way. Uh, tapos, itong strategy na to na tinatime yung market works only for stock market because for UITFs and mutual funds, meron kasi yan mga 2 or 3 days na period. Ah, uh, so hindi mo matatime talaga. Uh, so, medyo mahirap mag-time kapag UITF or mutual fund. Oh, oh. Ang tip lang namin sa inyo guys, kung magpo-cost averaging kayo, uh, make sure that you buy a security na merong growth potential. No? Uh -oh. Kasi siyempre, kung... Not all stocks are the same and uh -oh. not all stocks go up over time. So, yung mga stocks na for the past several years, five, past 5, 6, 7 years ay sideways lang, uh, hindi siya masyadong maganda. Uh -oh. Uh, ang maganda na kinukos averaging yung over the long term, tingnan nyo yung chart, is pocket lang siya. No? Uh, so, or at least, ha, kahit umakit or bumababa yung stock price niya, pocket pa rin yung, yung long term. Yung uh, long term, yung, no, yung trend niya. Uh, uh, na, natural naman na nag-up and down siya. Uh, basta over the long term, pocket siya. Which is, uh, as all financial uh, says, uh, you choose stocks that have uh, growth potential, no? Or fundamentally sound. Companies. Yeah, fundamentally sound companies, uh, no? Uh, that will ensure na you will make profit mm -hmm. over the long term. Uh, well, minsan kasi nag stock review ako. Mm. Tapos yung chine-check ko yung stocks, flat siya. Uh Oo. -oh. Kahit five years na flat pa rin. Ah, yun. Yun yun. yun, 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 yun uh, no? Kailangan i-sell tapos maghanap ng ibang stock na yes. fit yung portfolio ng client. Uh, 
Alright. So, so, I hope na intindihan nyo okay. yung simple explanation namin ng cost uh-huh. averaging. Of course, if you want to learn more about it, you can email us at admin at And uh-huh. if you have additional questions, Just you can put it sa comment, comment. section. Yes. We'll answer uh-huh. them for you. Uh-huh. And if you like this video, video, give it a thumbs up and then hit subscribe and that notification bell. Right? Yes, yes, and uh-huh. of course, share it to your friends, friends also. Alright. Right. So, I guess okay. that's it. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.